happening so um uh you know usually we don't have calzones at, at the pizzerias you know we make them for like kind of staff you know you know just to uh mix it up with pizza but in Pane bianco our little sandwich shop bakery we make calzone and we make two kinds we make one kind of traditional spinach ricotta mozzarella parmigiano reggiano and the other one we make is very simple it's just three ingredients well four if you count the dough itself prosciutto cotto, or you can use a great ham. This is a fontina, and some parmigiano reggiano. Couldn't be simpler. Arm here, we have our dough, which is just our pizza dough. Very simple. We we'll just, you know, the key to this, you know, you don't want it too thin. You don't want it too thick. Just like, uh, you want it just right, just like the thing with the story about the porridge, you know? One was too hot, one was too cold, you know how the rest of the story goes. So, nice, nice. And normally I wouldn't be like messing with the end or the cornicione or whatever. You want to call it, you ever call it in your hood. But here we do. I want to, I want that to be even more than than not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do two, three things here. I'm gonna put a little reggiano down. Build a little foundation, it's a little one. Then we're gonna put some ham, nice, nice. Make it nice. Fontina. And then a little bit more of the Reggiano, just cause we can. And that's it. And not that it really needs it, I'm gonna give it a little bit just to help it get going of extra virgin olive oil. No salt, the ham has salinity, good salinity, and so does the um, prosciutto cotto. I mean the prosciutto cotto and the, uh, uh, the parmigiano and the fontina. So we're gonna pull that over. You guys know how to do this. This is just, who are we kidding? This is just a pass the time, right? And, and also I was watching my buddy, Mark Vecchi this morning in his beautiful little Fiorella pasta bar and he was making brown butter and this is something we have in the menu that we do with brown butter. We'll give a little air hole. Woo. All right. And we'll just tuck it in the oven. It'll be nice. It'll be a big calzone. And, uh, that one in this oven, in the wood oven, is going to be about maybe six or eight. Oh yeah. It's almost there. Everything's almost there. So um, on today's episode of calzone, uh, the new leader of our uh, of our life here, you know, it's given us a lot of uh, things to uh, to think about. But uh, anyway, it's coming out. I just thought you might want to see the calzone. It's in the oven. You got pizza dough. You got some things to put together. It's just a harness. Um, if you got questions about it, you can always ask. You know, come by the house. You know, well, if you could come in and talk, we talk to you. Um, you know, not every episode is going to be great of these things. So I'm just going to be, you know, me doing stuff like this. Let me go check this brown butter. Hold on, hold on. It's hot. Okay, boom. Now it's simple. Now we're going to pull it out of the oven. The one was already in there, we're gonna pull it out of the oven. We're gonna drop it. Hold it. Can I get the plates up? Okay, let's check it out. This will be the big moment. This will be. Oh, look. Oh, mommy mia. Look, it looks nice. Like that. And then what we do is go over here. Normally I got, you know, we got people running around. I got people, you got people, we got people running, but today we got a little bit of brown butter. It's gonna go right over the top and make it nice. And the last thing is, is uh, is we're gonna hit it with a little flurry, little flurry of Parmigiano Reggiano. Because we could do that. We don't care. It's only money. It's only money. 
And in these times, money's not what matters, even though we could use some. We use, we use a lot of it. But uh, anyway, that's the calzone. Um, a lot of people are hurting out in our world, and you guys are helping so much by uh, yeah, just doing what you can to support all our people that aren't here right now, and a few that are still are hanging around. But uh, anyway, we appreciate it. Uh, Mark Vetri, thanks for putting the brown butter on today. Remind me that uh, here's another place to put it. Peace.